Hello, Taurus. Getting ready to do your reading here. This is a random, uh, timeless love tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus as well, or Pluto. If you've got uh, Taurus and Pluto when you were born, if, you have your, if you've ever had your chart done, you can also apply those videos as well for your Pluto sign. Um, this is, a, again, a general reading, but uh, if, if the title drew you in, there's probably something in here for you. Uh, no doubt about it. I'm going to pull a uh, card for your person. I'm going to pull a card for how they feel. I'm going to pull a card for how they feel or see, or feel about you or see you. There we go. And I'll pull a card for uh, some advice or actions that uh, either of you can take. And I'm going to pull a final outcome. We're going to clarify the whole thing and maybe throw a few general energy cards over the top of all of that. So uh, stick with me here. This will be a pretty involved reading for sure. Uh, I like to get to the bottom of things. These random readings, while I'm shuffling, I'll just tell you, I get the idea to do them. You know, I get, uh, I get some sort, I pick up on something that leads me to pick a sign and just do a random video. And for you, uh, I just did one for, for uh, Scorpio, but, but for you, Taurus, it was really strong today. I uh, woke up this morning with, with Taurus in my head, so let's see what's going on here. Let's cut the deck. Taurus, random love reading for... Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Let's see where we go. All right. Let's throw some cards. Here we go. King of Swords is your person. It's representing your person. Represented here by the Great Horned Owl on this deck. The Five of Pentacles is how they're feeling. Okay. Uh, we got the uh, eight, 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 six, eight, Seven of Cups is how they see you. Okay. All right. Uh, the advice or actions you can take, the devil, okay, that's going to be more of a warning than advice, but we're going to clarify everything, so don't worry about it. And the uh, final outcome is the four of cups. Again, we'll have to clarify that as well, because that can mean a few different things in this position. Uh, okay, so how they see you, or, or excuse me, not how they see you, the, just your person in general is represented by the king of swords uh, in this deck. Um, I'm just going to take a general overview of this whole thing here, and I can kind of see what's going on here. You've never, or you're, you're, you're either giving this person the cold shoulder, or you're not communicating with them in some way, and it's going to, it's just, it's having an effect of wanting them to come in uh, and say something. It's kind of a stalemate. I, I'm getting that you're sort of in a stalemate situation with them. Uh, because they're feeling right now the five of uh, pentacles and that rose on that picture pretty much says it all you know they're they're feeling left out in the cold uh, they they see you as this seven of cups here so they see you with a lot of choices you you've got uh, maybe you're out meeting new people you know they they need to do something they're they're coming to a point where, where they're like you know I need to they need to do something this advice here, and this that I said that was more of a warning, that's obsession. That's what that is. Uh, they are obsessed with you. I don't think you're obsessed with them. I think they're obsessed with you. The final outcome is the Four of Cups. That's a card of apathy, but it's also a card, I think in this particular case here, of, of missed opportunity. Uh, I think they feel like they're missing an opportunity. Uh, but we're going to clarify. I'm shuffling the clarifying cards right now. Let's clarify that King of Pentacles, or, or excuse me, King of Swords over here for uh, just their overall energy. Uh, not feelings, not anything, just overall. The Eight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they want to take some action. That's that, that's that King of Swords, that Great Horned Owl in there. That's an action-taking bird right there. Uh, they want to take some action, um, but... You know, again, your lack of communication leads them to believe maybe you walked away, not really. They're, they're, they're not sure if they should walk away because this is their energy here. So they're not sure if they should walk away or not, but they definitely want a new beginning with you. They, they definitely want to make you an offer, but they know they have to come in right because the Ace of Pentacles is a, is a damn fine offer uh, of some sort. So let's take a look at this Five of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and the, uh, what is this, the Four of Wands. Okay, so they feel a little left out in the cold with this Five of Pentacles, like this uh, droopy rose there on that. Um, 
but uh, they really do want and and see the potential for for this as you know again a long term thing. The Ten of Pentacles is this is a long term card. This is a card of stability. Uh, it's also further clarified by the Four of Wands, which is a card of stability. It's the it's the happy home. It's the marriage. The the way. I mean, this is a celebration. It's it's all of it. It's it's just you know. Uh, they, they feel left out in the cold because they feel like they're missing out on happiness and, and pure, you know, pure, pure stability with you. And again, that backs up what I said about the final result. The energy I got off of this was that they feel like they're missing an opportunity. And that, that pretty much says it all, which is why they're sad, okay? Uh, the Seven of Cups is how they see you. And it's uh, clarified by the Six of Wands. Two of Wands. I'm going to pull one more on this. And the uh, Knight of Swords. All right. They want to come rushing towards you. Uh, you know, and they, and they want victory. But with that Two of Wands, they're holding back because they think you've got other options. They're holding back. The, the card in the middle is sort of the, the clarifier of the clarifier when you pull three cards. This is the main card right here. Uh, they're holding back. They're, they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. Um, but they're not quite ready to move forward yet as much as they'd love to. They're, they're fighting every urge they can to not just come rushing in like the Knight of Swords. Um, they really do uh, want victory with you. They the, 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 it, this is also, this Six of Wands is a card of, of communication, and in this particular deck it's got a butterfly on it. It's a card of transformation as well. Um, so again, they want your attention is what I'm trying to say. So if we, if we were looking at these, they want your attention, they're holding back, but, and they're watching you, but they really, really, really love to come in like that uh, uh, Knight of Swords. Uh, but they think you've got other options. They, they think, uh, you know, you're looking around at other things. And uh, again, missed opportunity. They're feeling the missed opportunity. We got Justice clarifying the devil, all right? And the Ace of Cups clarifying the devil. Okay. It, this person is quite easy, quite obviously, with these three cards here, the Devil, Justice, and the Ace of Cups, this person is obsessed with you. There is something, and, and I think they're working on it a little bit. They're toning it back. That's what Justice is kind of here. They're trying to balance it out, balance out that obsession so they can come in with an Ace of Cups, with something of value. Again, the Ace of Pentacles up here, like I said, they want to come in right. They want to come in with something of value. Uh, but they have to, with justice here, is they, they're, they're working on it. They're trying to tone back the obsession so they don't come in all crazy, basically, is what I'm saying. So the Four of Cups, they think it's a missed opportunity. We got the Two of Cups, clarifying the Four of Cups. And we got the Tower. Okay, well, when I'm right, I'm right. Um, yeah, they feel like it's a missed opportunity. They want nothing more than the two of you to come together. Uh, but right now, they're, they're having a tower moment. Um, and I want to clarify this tower. I, I, I do, because they, they're having a, there's a tower moment that's happening right now. The timing on the tower card is almost always now. Uh, if, if we were to pull a timing card and the tower would come out, I'd, I'd tell you, it's happening now. Go, go, go grab your phone, you know, kind of a thing. So this tower moment is in real time. Um, Claire, the tower is clarified by the um, uh, Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Interesting, interesting. Uh, they, the tower moment is a realization on their part that they, how do I want to phrase this? They don't think they're good enough for you, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Like, they, they think that you, you've got your shit together more than they do. Like, maybe they know that they're a mess. Because we, we can see that they're a little bit of an emotional mess because we've got this obsession with the devil that they're trying to get justice and they're trying to balance it out so that they can come in right and offer you an Ace of Cups or an Ace of Pentacles. Um, but, you know, oh, did the camera move? Oh, sorry about that. We're still we're still setting up around here, so you know, just bear with me. There we go. Professional operation, people. Professional operation. So, so they're trying to balance out this obsession so that they can come in with this Ace of Cups. 
they right here feel that you're maybe not quite good enough, uh, or they're not quite good enough for you, and that's the tower moment for them with that realization. Overlaying energy card is the uh, Knight of Cups. So they definitely want to come in and they may overcome. Uh, and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, they are going to overcome this and they are going to come in. Uh, they're going to get past this tower. This is These are the overlaying energy cards. These are just, you know, overall what's going to happen here. What are they going to do? Uh, they're going to come in as the Knight of Cups, which is sort of a middle of the road kind of come in. Uh, and yeah, the, the Wheel of Fortune means they're going to over, overrun this tower. Uh, Wheel of Fortune overrides the tower. So there you go. Before my camera com completely flips upside down, that's your reading. So you can expect this person to come in. Timing-wise, it should be pretty darn soon. I'd say within <clears throat> a week or two at the most. Um, usually this tower card is happening now. They may need to get up the nerve to come in. Uh, but that Wheel of Fortune is turning. It's, uh, it's not something, it's a major arcana, so it's not something they have too much control over. Uh, it's, it's happening kind of a thing. So, I mean, that would be my bet anyway. Uh, because they don't want to miss an opportunity. Um, so, hopefully they can get this obsession taken care of so they don't come in kind of crazy. crazy but anyway, that's that. Uh, if you like this video, in spite of the camera moving and all of that, I'm going to fix that. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to build this channel up as a new channel. We do a lot of these random readings. They come up uh, a couple a day. You know, I'm always doing updates. So, you know. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and I hope this reading helped.